Working for you. This coach, who is a public representative of the public school, leading the prayers is unconstitutional. Prayer on the field, an appropriate exercise of protected free speech, or a blatant violation of the Constitution. You just heard one side. Right now, students and parents at Rockvale Middle School are on the other and gearing up for a prayer circle in support of their football coach. Good evening, everyone. News Force Forrest Sanders joins us now at Rockvale tonight. That's right. You can see right over here where the players are getting ready for the game. As for the prayer circle itself, it's going to be right over here in this area. And some parents are telling us the crowd could be big. Working in the county today, we heard two takes on this issue. He cares about each and every one of those boys that are on that team. He's coaching a lot more than just football out there. Right. Since their son joined the Rockvale High football team, Brian and Christy Hill have come to know was, uh, Coach Rick Rice as a role model, a force of good for young people. They say it's hard to see him caught in a controversy. After Rice prayed over players at a recent game, the Freedom From Religion Foundation wrote a complaint to Rutherford County Schools. This issue of this person, this coach, who is a public representative of the public school, leading the prayers is unconstitutional. It's pretty straightforward. Gail Jordan is executive director of another group, the Recovering From Religion Foundation. She says she appreciates that Rice has since apologized. A rep for Rutherford County School says the principal has talked to Rice about what's permitted under federal law, and he hasn't been reprimanded in any way. There will always be adversity in anything you stand for. He doesn't want somebody to feel we're pressured into a prayer situation. The Hills say they see the prayer as Rice showing his care for the team. In a community show of support for the coach, parents and students are planning a prayer circle before the game tonight. Again, that's okay. That's We have the right to do that in this country. That's what religious freedom is. As long as one of the parents is not doing it in an official capacity of a government employee. Forrest Sanders reporting for us tonight. So Forrest, has the school system responded to this complaint? Well, the Freedom From uh, Religion Foundation tells us they have not received a response just yet from schools. Schools tell us that they have received the complaint and they say that the matter is handled. Tracy. Okay, Forrest Sanders, thank you.